A couple weeks ago, I reviewed the Saray Saturn 35mm anamorphic lens, and because it's so small and so light, it got me wondering, can you actually vlog with this? Hey, what's going on everybody? Too Long Didn't Read Filmmaker here, where I try to condense everything you need to know into one small video so you can get on your way. Vlogging with an anamorphic lens is definitely possible, but when you are solo and doing it on the fly, there are three challenges you need to figure out. Number one, how can you achieve focus when you're going to be standing away from the camera? Well, Nate's film tutorials gave me this really handy tip, which is set your tripod where your camera's going to be, then take the camera where you are going to be and simply focus on the tripod itself, at which point it should put you in focus. The second thing is how are you going to get focus when you are holding the camera away from your face? And that's simply because these anamorphic lenses, their minimum focus range is three feet. So unless you have really long arms, it's not going to work. This is where a plus two diopter comes in. The reason we use a plus two is because it changes the range of your focus to approximately one feet to three feet, which is definitely in range of your arm. The last thing to consider is because you're using this diopter and probably a variable ND, you need to be able to take this on and off as quick as possible because you might want to catch something. This is where the case magnetic filter holder set comes in handy. So I can put a magnetic adapter on the diopter as well as the variable ND. And as you can see here, I can pop it off in a moment's notice or I can combine them together if I need to. And with that, let's check out what I was able to get. And there you have it. It is totally possible to vlog with this Saray 35 millimeter lens. There's one more thing that you can consider. Not everybody wants to have the pure blurred background all the time. In which case, if you are primarily vlogging outdoors or maybe you have a camera that has a dual ISO setting, you can set it to the highest ISO and basically stop your lens down to like F8 or F16 and get a lot more stuff in focus. So. Depending on what you want to do, that is one thing to consider. So this experiment has been a lot of fun, and I will say that using an amorphic lens can definitely spice up your vlogs a little bit. While I know that autofocus is important because you just want to be able to do it, I do think that when you shoot manually, especially with an anamorphic lens, you're forced to slow down and really think about your shots. And I always think when you slow down just a little bit to try to capture an awesome image, that's just gonna make your vlogs look that much more interesting. And hey, that is the end for this video. If you wanna purchase anything that I talked about, I do have them all linked down in the description below. They are affiliated, so if you use it, it does help me and the channel, so I thank you for that. Otherwise, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down below. I will get to them as fast as I can. And until then, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys in the next one.